guys welcome back to my channel Ooh, snap mm, that's awkward mm. when i'm working <laughs> okay i'm just gonna go for it hi you guys welcome back to my channel my name is deja or deja danae or dej or daisy you do have options call me what you like out of that list um so anyway welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you like comment and subscribe so i have a final tomorrow and then i have more finals next week today is thursday tomorrow is friday actually i might take my final on saturday though because i do have a choice but anyway i got sick a few weeks ago and it really kind of threw me off and um so i feel like i've been trying to play catch up for the past two weeks so yeah that's where we're at i have one class today this is my last class this is my finite class and i'm gonna miss this class um because my professor is wonderful he's the best math teacher i've ever had in my entire life and i've been i've been in school for a long time um but anyway so yeah we have that i'm gonna do a lot of studying today and then later my niece has a basketball game so y'all get to see her play a little bit a little bit she's actually really good um tonight she's gonna be playing with boys so y'all get to see a little bit of that i get to see her again um so yeah i just want to do a little just share with you guys a little something so i know self-care is like really big you know people are always like "Ooh, put on a face mask just pamper yourself and i do think that is a part of self-care i think that's great but this morning I was having a moment because sometimes I tend to spiral um, and I was having a moment because I'm like I'm still I'm not still recovering from being sick like physically but just it's really put a it just really put me back like I haven't had time to do things that I would normally do because I've been trying to play catch up so anyway this morning I was like oh my gosh I already knew I was gonna vlog today because I had planned earlier this week okay we're gonna vlog on Thursday and so my hair's not done i'm back to nubs my lashes need to be done i need to do laundry so i got this little sweatshirt on i need a haircut like all of these things and i was just really bothered because i'm like i look a mess like i just i can't and so this morning when i was reading my bible i've been reading um second samuel and I was like, I can't read this this morning because it's not doing anything for me. So I'm like, let me read a psalm. Like, maybe that'll help. And quite frankly, I don't really feel like that did anything for me. So I stopped and I was just like, okay, let me just pray. Let me just... And I really wasn't praying. I was more so just complaining. And I'm just like, I just need a self-care day. Like, I just need to be able to do this. I need to be able to do that and just take care of myself because I look a mess. I, like, just saying all of these negative things about myself. And then it was like, girl, do you not realize that part of self-care is how you talk to yourself? Like, of course you're not going to feel good. You just beat yourself up about how you look a mess, how you, you're you running out of time, you can't get anything done, you need your hair now, you need, like, you, you literally have just nagged yourself, and you're trying to figure out why you feel so poorly, but that's why, because self-care is not just what you typically do, which is, I do my candlelit showers, and it helps de-stress me, and all those things really are important to me, and they work for me, but at the same time, how are you talking to yourself every day? Girl, why are you talking, yes, because here's the thing i was looking at pictures of when my hair was done so i'm like my hair just looks a mess like i'm sick of wearing this hat and it's like girl stop talking so poorly about yourself like it's fine you have on a hat for really i've been having to wear this hat quite a bit this week because i just haven't had time to do my hair but it's like girl it's not that big of a deal stop being mean to yourself to yourself because that's a part of self-care too it's not just about everything else you're doing so that's my little mini rant for today so i don't know how y'all talking to yourself but be nice to yourself honey because if you ain't gonna be nice to you who else gonna be nice okay what would it what did uh a wise man once said love yourself girl or nobody will be nice to yourself but i'm gonna leave it at that because we have to go to campus oh and also <laughs> um you guys know i love the snow but it's also, we got a little drizzle going on. It's raining a little bit. I also love the rain. So that's helping with my mood. But anyway, I'm about to go in here so I can get some help. 
actually I don't need help I keep saying that but I really don't there are a few things actually I could get help with but I'm going here to do some work to prepare for my final that I'm taking Saturday I just decided that I'm gonna take it Saturday morning and um yeah I'm gonna do a little more filming I know last time oh this 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 long I'm talking a lot okay so I'm gonna stop here but okay yeah I'm, I'm gonna stop talking so that I can get in here and get some work done and y'all can see me do that so I made it to the library and study room a study room was available so I'm in here I'm about to do a practice test for my final exam that I'm getting ready for and I have my study with me ready and I use um, her name is Janie her YouTube channel is the strive to fit and then her study videos or strive studies but she hasn't posted on this the strive studies in a really long time but um, yes yeah, so I'm about to get started with that I have my test and then the answer key so that I can check to see how I'm doing when I'm there so I keep running out of storage, so I'm not going to record my time in here because I can't. <clears throat> so I will check in with you guys when I leave here. Okay, you guys. So I'm obviously not <clears throat> on campus anymore. <laughs> I'm headed home. My last class was really good. I'm going to miss that class. That professor was amazing. Like I said, he's the best math teacher I've ever had in my life. So right now I'm going to... The neighborhood market Walmart which we call it the grocery Walmart that's where I'm going I just want to pick up first of all there are certain things I'm ashamed of that I eat but um I've been craving hot fries and they tear my stomach up y'all but my god <laughs> you know Chester he knew what he was doing when he created those hot fries so I'm gonna I'm gonna get me some hot fries okay uh, I've been craving them uh, just had some yesterday, but we're having another craving. So I am going to surrender to that craving. <laughs> I would give you some hot fries. And I think I'll probably get just a frozen pizza so I can have something to eat for lunch. So I don't actually go eat out because I eat out. Did you read my lips? Every day. Okay. It's ridiculous. I know it. Um, but I don't like to cook, which is why for a while I was doing HelloFresh because, okay, like that don't make sense because I, I got to cook the HelloFresh. So here's the thing. It's not, I really don't like to cook, but I really don't like to grocery shop and try to fi figure out what kind of meal I want. So HelloFresh does that for me, which is why I really enjoy using it. But if I don't have HelloFresh, it's going to be a frozen meal y'all can judge me if y'all want to and that's fine okay but uh this girl over here is really not i really don't like to cook i can cook i know how to i just don't it's not something that brings me joy so unless i have hello fresh i will cook that because they have everything i need for me and i really don't have to do anything extra as far as going to the grocery store trying to figure out what i want to eat so anyway, I said all that to say, I'm going to give me some hot fries and I'm going to go get me like a frozen pizza to eat for lunch. And yeah, that's, that's where we're at right now. So that's where I'm headed. And then after that, I will go to the library and get some work done. And then after that, my niece has a basketball game. So I'm going to go to her basketball game, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get me some hot fries. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a frozen pit. That's why I be praying, Jesus. Let him cook, Jesus. Let him cook. Let him be a chef, Lord. No. Um. Anyway, so I am going to check in with you guys here in a little bit. But that's where I'm at. I'm on my way to the grocery store or to the Kroger Walmart. That's what we call it. Or the grocery Walmart. Whichever. Actually, my my parents and my siblings say the Kroger Walmart. I say the grocery Walmart. That's what it is. Neighborhood markets, grocery Walmart. 
Anyway, that's where I'm headed. And, um, BRB! Okay, wait a minute. Because I don't see any hot fries. Aha! I found them! Alright, in and out. Um, and now we are headed home. Okay, I don't know if this is a phobia, but I actually have a fear of backing out of parking spaces. Really, it's not a phobia. I guess it's just a trauma. Um, when I was in high school, me and my friend were in my sister's car, and I was backing out of a parking space, and somebody hit me. And um, ever since then, I'm really scared to back out of parking spaces. And whenever I get the chance, I try to back into a parking space or, like, pull all the way up so that I can just pull right out instead of backing out of parking spaces, which that obviously isn't always gonna happen, but I try to do that because I'm scared to back out of parking spaces, quite frankly. All right, headed home. Like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching!